What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Booba Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, uh, Dominique Brazil is reportedly uh, ditching the fight with Dillian White. Uh, he said that um, negotiations were going all well with Dillian White. Um, Al Heyman and um, Dillian White team, they were working well together. They were on the verge of just um, setting a date for their fight. Uh, which was a WBC interim uh, eliminator for to become the uh, mandatory to face Deontay Wilder, uh, and uh, we know things have have changed. Some um, circumstances have changed as Tyson Fury has pulled out of the Deontay Wilder fight for the May 18th date. Um, all signs are pointing to Deontay Wilder not facing Tyson Fury uh, May 18th, and all signs are pointing to De Deontay Wilder facing Dominic Brazil who's his mandatory for the WBC title already, you know, um, which all makes sense, you know, uh, because we know that D Dillian White and Dominic Brazil were actually going to fight uh, um, uh, as an eliminator, excuse me, as an eliminator for uh, Deontay Wilder. But since um, Deontay Wilder is not going to fight Tyson Fury and uh, Dominic Brazil is already the um, mandatory, uh, we know the the issue with this is that um, Dillian White was the number one ranked opponent for the WBC, but D uh, Dominic Brazil is the mandatory for the WBC title. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's very confusing. How confusing is that? It's very confusing. So, with that said, you know, uh, all signs are now pointing to the fact that uh, Deontay Wilder will be facing Dominic Brazil May 18th um, uh, location, probably uh, Barclays Center, Brooklyn Barclays Center. Um, and the thing about this is that, uh, um, is that, uh, all signs are pointing to, um, most likely the Brooklyn Barclays and I think that Deontay Wilder at this point in time is, will just keep everything as already was set, you know, um, to face Tyson Fury and just, uh, insert Dominic Brazil. That just makes all the sense in the world as Dominic Brazil is the mandatory for the WBC. So you might as well get that out of the way and then worry about, um, uh, getting, um, Unification bout with Anthony Joshua sometime, you know, uh, um, in the in the fall or in the summer because you fight um, May 18th is the spring, so you know you still have um, still possibly could face face uh, Anthony Joshua in the late summer, you know, maybe about September due to the fact that Anthony Joshua is fighting June 1st against Jarrell Big Baby Miller. So should he be victorious against Jarrell Big Baby Miller, uh, I could definitely see a fight between uh, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua taking place sometime in the fall. That's more likely to take place than a rematch with Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury at this point in time. Um, so uh, it just makes all the sense in the world. Uh, Dominic Brazil is a big, tall, um, orthodox fighter. Uh, he doesn't move as well as Tyson Fury, but he's about six foot seven himself. You know, Tyson Fury's six foot nine. Uh, Deontay Wilder was already preparing for such a big uh, stature guy, boxer, and Tyson Fury was six foot nine, two hundred sixty pounds. A la Dominic Brazil is about six seven, six eight, two hundred sixty pounds himself. You know, orthodox fighter is a boxer before he's a puncher. You know, it's a lot of similarities. Just makes all the sense in the world for Deontay Wilder, who was already in preparation as far as the mindset and things of that nature, training to face a guy in similar stature. So it just makes all the sense in the world, seeing as though uh, Dominic Brazil is the mandatory for the WBC. So why have an interim uh, showdown between Dillian White and Dominic Brazil for to see who's going to face Dom with uh, Deontay Wilder next when it's already open right now, and he might as well go ahead and get it out the way. And then if all things don't push through, he let's say he fights Dominic Brazil and doesn't get the Joshua fight, he still can... Um, uh, 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 he still can negotiate a showdown between Dillian White sometime in, you know, September. He, he can actually face Dillian White in August. You know, he doesn't have to wait around for uh, Anthony Joshua because jo Anthony Joshua fights in June. So I'm pretty sure Anthony Joshua won't fight again in August. He'll uh, September, October, the latest. So, you know, so, uh, um, but, you know, um, if Deontay Wilder fights Dominic Brazil in May, he could also fight um, get Dillian White, fight Dillian White in September, and then still fight Anthony Joshua in, in December, you know, so, and then next year, 2019, should he become undisputed, beat Anthony Joshua and become undisputed, I'm pretty sure there'll be a rematch clause, he'll face Anthony Joshua probably again early 2019, if, if you know, um, should he be successful against Anthony Joshua, you know, and then he put together a hell of a resume. You know, uh, he beats Dominic Brazil, gets him out of the way. There goes your mandatory. There goes the storyline. We know the storyline with Dominic Brazil and everything that took place. I'm not going to get into that with Dominic Brazil and uh, 
Deontay Wilder and families and all of that type of thing. And then you go ahead and you fight uh, Dillian White in, 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 in late summer, August. You know, um, you get that out of the way, right? And then you, you face Anthony Joshua in December, right? And, and you beat Anthony Joshua. Then you have a rematch with Anthony Joshua in, in, in early or um, mid-2020, right? And then after you get that out of the way, the only thing left to do is to, to face Tyson Fury. And, that, and, that, and at that point... You don't, uh, it wouldn't be hard pressed to see Deontay Wilder go over to ESPN and make those fights happen, right? It just makes all the sense in the world. But anyway, uh, Dominic Brazil is already in preparation to face Deontay Wilder as he states that he's just waiting for the phone call at this point in time with the date. So that leads me to believe that he's already in negotiations. He's already been contacted. Uh, they already started putting this in motion because as he said, he's already waiting for a date. Uh, unfortunately for Dillian White, he's going to be left out in the cold once again. And, uh, um, it looks like all signs are pointing to Dominic Brazil facing Deontay Wilder May 18th at the Brooklyn Barclay Center. But that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.